Okay, I'm back again. So if you watched my previous video where I was talking about the Critical and Creative Thinking Activities book, Grade 3, brought to you by Evan Moore Publishers, you know that I said that I was doing a run-through of Evan Moore books that we're going to be reviewing today. And that if you want to enter the giveaway for the $50 gift card, you need to like this video, the previous video, and the video after this video. So as well as like the original post. So um, let's jump right into this book. So this is the Daily Fundamentals Grade 3 book. And I explained in my previous video how we do not do all these books during the week. Um, this particular book is one of the books that I do tend to work with him on the weekend with. This is the book that if we're having a rough day where he's just frustrated with whatever curriculum he's working on. This is my go-to book. Do I use this as a complete curriculum no I do not because I want he has a curriculum that we use for each one of the subjects covered in here and a lot of the subjects are books that we use part of a curriculum that are from Evan Evan Moore Publishers so do I use this as a end-all this is his homeschool book no I do not I personally don't recommend that you do that um, because I feel like um, there needs to be some extra supporting material to go with this, especially if some of the topics in here your student has not covered. Th this, by all means, is not an instructional book. This is basically a book that you use to continue to facilitate and um, get your student to show mastery in the different topics that they have already been exposed to, either in the language fundamentals book by Evermore Publishers or whatever curriculum that they're using. And if you have not seen the Language Fundamentals um, book from Evermore Publishers, I do have a video here on my Instagram um, where I did review that Language Fundamentals book. I highly recommend that if you're not looking to get a big bulky language um, arts curriculum for your student. That book has a lot of instructional in it, a lot of um, practice in there and it, it works really well w going alongside this particular book. So let's jump right into this one. So you get 30 weeks of 20 minute daily lessons. These, these are ideal for either morning time or as homework or just like some kind of informal assessment. So you actually can use this as like an assessment if you want to make sure that your student is learning what they need to learn and their curriculum that they're using or even if they're doing tra tra traditional school. So this particular book, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I know someone asked me, what is the difference between the books that look like this and the books that look like this? This is the teacher's edition of the Daily Fundamentals. If you have multiple students and you want to have two books, you can use this book for one student and you can purchase the student book on the Evanmore website as well. So you'll have two, two books. Or if you're like me, if you've got a teacher file box from Evanmore, you just print out the, you print out the second book. So let's jump into this one. So I love the way this is laid out. It's laid out by weeks. So you'll know exactly there's 30 weeks in here. And then, as well as what is inside, you're going to be touching on language, math, and reading for each of the days. So each week, so you have five days of practice for each week. And they're going to be covering language, math, and reading. So let's finish looking. So, and again, over here, it just tells you a little bit how to use this book. You can use this for homework, for morning work, bell ringers, and stuff like that. There's a skills, scope, and sequence in here as well as a student progress report as well as a student record sheet in here. So that's awesome if you are um, homeschooling as well. So you can kind of keep track of what your student is, student is learning. So as you can tell here, they give you a complete breakdown of what your student is learning in each one of the subjects. And what I love about this is that if you look, if you have the Language Fundamentals book or any of the other Evan Moore books, you will see that they tend to match up really well with the weeks with what's going on in here in this daily fundamental book so this book is really used in my honest opinion it's really used to be paired with the other books that 
um, Evan Moore has, especially the ones that have the fundamentals on it. Like there's math fundamentals, there's reading comprehension fundamentals, there's language fundamentals. And I'm going to be reviewing reading comprehension fundamentals after this video. So be sure to check that out. So basically you will see what your student is learning. And again, you can use this to as an assessment if you are not using those Evan Moore books and you're using your other curriculum to see if your student is lining up. So here is the progress, my progress week chart. So this basically kind of gives you um, an idea of how the student is progressing. Did they do what they were supposed to do and stuff like that. This I think is a really great thing to have. Um, I actually printed out one of these for my son and I'm going to be inserting into his weekend folders because we tend to do these on the weekend. We have not started this book yet. We will be starting it this weekend so he can work on it. He typically does an entire week over the weekend. So he'll run through all the different lessons and I'll show you. So here's the student record sheet. So you just record the how they did on it. And as you can tell, you can see how many um, problems they did and then you can correct how many they did correctly. And then you can write little side notes here. And then there's one for all 30 weeks. If you get this book or if you have an Evan Moore um, teacher file books, I recommend printing out at least two of these just in case you mess it up and write in pencil. Um, that's a big, huge write in pencil. So here we go for this one. So again, like I said, the language, the math, and the reading. So this is just day one. And that's why I was saying, telling you that my son will usually do an entire week's worth. Um, over the course of the weekend because he does not like the, the stagnated schedule of doing one language one day and then coming back. He's like, I'm just going to get it all done. So um, you, can, you can do it that way or you can do it this way. This is a really good way if you're new to homeschooling and you just want to start your day off in the morning with your students. Um, while they're getting started, these are great morning starters for your student um, for them to work on and it kind of gives you an assessment. You also can lesson plan from these. If your student is getting too many of these wrong, then you know what you need to put in your lesson plan for the upcoming week or you need to pull back so you know that the next day, you know what, we need to work a little bit more on plural nouns because he's, he got way too many wrong. If he's got eight problems on here, mama, and he's getting like seven of them wrong, you need to pull back and you need to do some, some more uh, work on plural nouns. So this is a great planning tool as well. And I use that to plan with my son as well. If I start seeing that he's making careless mistakes, then I know that that's something that we need to pull back on. I grab our math fundamentals book and I'll grab our language fundamentals book as well as the reading fun, fun, reading fundamentals book. And I will go back and find where we talked about that subject and I will um, pull back. And what I usually do is because of the way that those two books are laid out, there's so many practice on that particular topic that you're working on in the fundamentals book. I always leave one to two pages undone in that section just in case I see that he's struggling in this book, I have some extra practice that he can go and work on in the fundamentals book. So that's a really cool tip if you're working with those fundamentals book to leave at least one page undone and do your assessment in this daily book. And if they get too many wrong, then you have a page to practice for them to do. Or if you have that teacher file box, you can print it out and you can have an extra practice sheet if they've already done it. So again, the, the pretty much the layout is the same for every single week. It's always one language, one math, one reading per day for your student to work on. And I know a lot of moms, a lot of homeschool moms that use this for their homeschool and then they do a lot of literary learning as well as hands-on learning and game schooling. So that fits really well for them. But do not, in my, in my opinion, I would not use this as an end-all, be-all um, book. You need some sort of supporting material, be it be a game, another um, a language fundamentals from Evan Moore book, or something else to supplement and make sure that you have some instructional time in there. So um, that's just my opinion. So again, all the pages are the same, as you can tell, and then the answers are in the back here. So, and this book, the, the Daily Fundamental books, they start in first grade and I believe they go all the way up until sixth grade. Yes, they go all the way up and yes, 
grades one through six. So they go all the way up until sixth grade. So that is my walkthrough and my recommendations and tips on the Daily Fundamentals Grade 3 book. Be sure to check out the third video. And in the third video, I'm going to be talking about the new homeschool planner from Evan Moore um, Publishers that they have if you purchase the homeschool bundle that they have on their website. Until the next video, I will talk to you later. Bye.